Girls of the Run New Balance 5K. I'm running with a wonderful young lady named Excel. Girls of the Run is number one. Brazil! Once you start running, it's it's really fun. You don't even think about all the hard work. I am Excel's coach and I'm her running buddy. We're gonna run sort of tandem today so that way I can give her cues while we're running and so I can tell her um, when there's, uh, you know, step down curbs or there's runners in front of us. Girls on the Run 5K really symbolizes a lot of what Excel's gone through in these few years she's been in our country. The starting line when she got to the United States. She had a lot of struggles and it was hard for her at the beginning to learn English, to be in a new country, be in a new school. Two obstacles in my life are my vision and coming to moving to a new country. I was told I had a new student and that student had just arrived from Cameroon. So after my assessment with her, I could tell that there was something wrong. We were able to get her down to Children's uh, Medical Center in Washington, D.C., and that is where she first found out that she had Stargardt's disease, which is the most common form of macular degeneration. After she had found out, she came to school crying. I gave her a hug and, and reassured her that she wouldn't be going through this alone. I told her that I would be talking to her about a toolbox of learning, and I was going to teach her many things, and that she could breathe a little easier because I would be coming in on a weekly basis to work with her, and it was going to be okay. Mrs. Weisfeld is my vision teacher, and she helps me with the computer. I brought in special software to help her enlarge what was on the screen. For different tasks, you use different things. She might use her magnifier to do one task at school, but then another task, she may need to use her talking calculator. And another tool that she keeps in her box might be the ot light that she uses when the teacher turns out the lights. And you build upon those skills. Axel was immediately identified when they came to register at the Rocking Horse Road Center as a potential ESOL student. So she was placed in ESOL and received ESOL services. And uh, because of that, she was able to quickly pick up the language. It's really just amazing how fast she's, she's learned English and how fast she's, she's uh, become an accelerated student all around. She's advanced in everything. Excel is excelling. She scored advanced on the Maryland State Assessments. Uh, she is in the accelerated class for reading. She's also taking a great level above math with success. She's one of our star performers and she's a school leader. I like math, reading, science, social studies, I mean chorus, I'm a patrol. I might want to become a writer or a doctor. Excel has a tremendous amount of support. We are all in great communication. The home, the school, the vision teacher, the ESOL counselor, we're all working as one unit to get her to move forward. Montgomery County Public Schools has been able to bring this family close to the school and to understand, make them understand the school system and the importance of parents being there for their kids. The school system has given Excel all the supports and materials to help her with her vision problem. They brought new technologies into her life, which we would never have been able to afford. For this, I am so very thankful. Excel and I have a great relationship. I run with her. She's my running buddy, so we trained for the 5K together. So there was many days after school that we just ran and we talked the whole time. I got to know her. I got to know about what Cameroon is like and how she had to leave her dog behind and how that made her feel. And we have a bond and we trust each other. I know that she's always going to give her 100% and she knows that I'm always going to be there for her, whether it be a hard math problem or a 5K race. She is able to overcome any challenge. She's gonna be finishing elementary school, the finish line really above and accelerated and advanced. And it really speaks towards her hard work, her family's hard work and all of her teachers' hard work. Emotionally, I was feeling very proud of myself because I just ran a 5K. She's had a wonderful 
circle of staff here at the school that have just embraced this child as they embrace all the other kids. The children respect her tremendously, as do the adults, for the way she carries herself. She gets more than enough hugs every day, and she gives them back. To all my teachers and everyone who helped me, thank you, and I'll always do my best.